Hello Bees Bladers! Welcome back and welcome newcomers to the channel. I have two very exciting knives to share with you and I mean I am very excited about these because I once, I actually showed a couple of these. They made some knives to teach kids and well adults how to take knives apart and how to put them together. And matter of fact, let me grab one real quick. Just found, I found one of them. This is one of the examples. This is a G10 knife and it comes with all the parts to take it apart and put it back together. So when you're working on your knives, your youngin can take apart and put together knives and this knife blade is actually made out of G10. It's not sharpened, but I have a video. Maybe I'll put a link up here where you can go check that out and learn more about these. But the same company, I, I told him, I was like, why don't you do this for adults? Because adults, I, I get questions all the time. They, they say, hey, we wanna learn how how to take knives apart and put them together. How do we put them together? How do we clean them? How do we maintain them? And now I'm gonna show you, there's a couple different versions of this. And this knife is only 30 bucks, which is very cool. And this is not a toy, this is for adults. Or well, it's for whoever, you know, that's, that's your decision, however old and supervised the kids are when you uh, maintain your knives. I'm going to, I'm trying to take this apart without flinging everything all over the place. I took it apart upside down, but let me get this organized and out on the table so you can see what we're working with. And we have two different blade styles. So look at this. Here is your handles. Here are your handles and your blade. And then I'm showing you everything that's in here because this, you know, this is an unboxing. Uh, there's instructions in here. We won't need the instructions because this is, you know, kind of what I do. <laughs> but it shows you how to lubricate, place the D2 blade over the pivot. It has, oh, very nice. It has very detailed instructions on what things are called, stop pins. It has ceramic bearings, which is impressive for 29 bucks. It has D2, there's all the parts that come with it. It even comes with lube, which is, wow, this is very, very cool. I am so glad that they have done this. We'll put this one here together, and you know what? I'm probably gonna give this one away in the live stream, so I'm gonna keep this all in one piece, and we're gonna give this away and let someone else put that together brand new, and let's see what the parts are that come with it. It comes with everything you need. I think this is exciting. I think this is fantastic, and I do have a disassembly playlist. Maybe I'll put the link up there, or if you just go to Beast Blades, go to the channel, you can see my playlist and I'm going to go ahead and get out my little mat that I uh, put knives together on and we'll come right back. Okay, we'll get this bad boy out here. That way ha we have better visuals. That way you can see what we're doing. And th this, is, <laughs> this is so freaking cool. And it comes with, is this a microfiber cloth? Comes with a little microfiber cloth. It comes with the whole deal. And then here is lubricates knife joints, reduces friction. Comes with a little thing of knife oil. You have your, your whole set. It looks like a, a T6 and a T8. You have a red backspacer if you want a backspacer. This is the coolest thing ever. I love it. And I also love the fact that it comes with ceramic bearings. They're not steel bearings, they're ceramic bearings. So heels, here, heels, here's all your perts. There's all the parts that you need. And I'll show you how to put it together. It's not difficult, not difficult at all. And this is, this is gonna be very exciting. <laughs> I'm, I'm loving this already. All right, so let's get this bad boy organized. I've got everything all over the place. There's one scale. Where's my other scale? I've already lost it. Ah, there it is, found it. Here's our other scale. All right, so this is how, this is how easy it's gonna be. Um, we're gonna go ahead and put our pivot in. Let's see, oh, look at this. We have a D-shaped pivot. So they're doing things, they're doing things right. Let's put our pivot in here, let's see. And look at this. On this side, you can see that's where our D shape. So we're gonna have this D shape uh, facing upwards. So when we put this on, it's going to match on this side. So here you have your scale. And then here we have our liner. We'll put our liner on here. And I think we're already ready to rock and roll. And um, let's, oh yeah, this is, this is nice. So here's, our, here's one of our screws. I'm gonna put that screw through here like that and it'll receive up in there. Let's, uh, let's, let's take a look here and see if we can just eyeball. This right here, these are your standoffs, and I'm not, I'm not doing this in order, but you know, I'm just kind of having fun with it. These are your standoffs, and this is what your screws will screw into. So I'm doing this upside down, so I'm just gonna screw this on here, and let's see. 
So you saw I put that screw through and now I put that through there. Now I'm gonna put this standoff right here and I'm gonna put a screw into that one. So I'm gonna put the screw in first. This is, this is backwards, but I'm showing you just how easy it is to do, right? I got that in there. Now I'm gonna screw this on because I'm not gonna make this a full length long video. Now I just have those finger tightened, right? That's holding that. Now I can put my pivot back in. Now I have my pivot in. Now it's starting to look like a knife. It's, it's starting to come together. You know what I'm saying? And I, I'm gonna go ahead and use the lube that they provided with it. I'm gonna get one of my ceramic ball bearings right here. I'm gonna put just a little drop on each side, just like that. Put my, put another drop, another drop. You don't even need that much. You don't need much lube at all. So there's that. Now we can get our blade and it says caution, sharp edge. Don't take the blade protector off until assembly is done. All right, so I'll do that. I will, I will listen to what they say. I'm gonna put that on there like that. Oh boy, that is, that is gonna be, that's gonna be some good action. And now we have the other one. I'll get my other ball bearing and just put a little drop over here, a little drop over here. Doesn't need much at all. And th that comes out in a big drop. So I'm not gonna need any more than that. Now that we have that together, this right here, this spot right here is where your stop pin's gonna be. This is your stop pin. And I, I'm, I'm hoping that some folks are gonna be able to get this that haven't ever taken a knife apart before. And this is gonna teach you and show you just how easy it is to take apart and disassemble knives because this is how liner locks, this is how they work. This is how easy it is to take care of them. Here's the backspacer, which you can use or you don't have to, but I'm gonna put this backspacer in here since it's provided, that's gonna give it a little extra flare. And now we have this scale right here I'm gonna put this scale on just like this and match it up with those uh, backspacer with the holes there. Let me see, D wait a minute, wait a minute. I forgot my liner. <laughs> I was like, what's missing here? Here, see how the liner has the D shape right here. That's when, it, that's when it's gonna keep, you can go like this, line it up, match it up with your, with your standoffs. Everything is clipped in, make sure everything snaps into place like it just did. Now I can put this bad boy on there. And now you squeeze it, make sure everything's lined up. And now we just have, wow, that's all we have left. Is we, oh, we, have your, we have our pivot. I can go ahead and put my pivot on right now. And I'm gonna grab this T8 that came with it. Is that a T8? Nope, this is a T8. So the orange one is your T8. That's gonna fit your pivot. I'm gonna do this and just kind of lightly finger tighten it down to hold it together. And now, Wow, this is, this is really cool. Let me make sure I have all the screws that I'm supposed to have. And I'm gonna go ahead and put one of, let's see, we have different sizes here. So I'm gonna put one dude in here. And I guess that's probably gonna be the green for the T6, let's see. Yep, the green is the T6. And yeah, I know I'm not keeping everything in, in camera and in focus very well, but my uh, screw on this side, I gotta push so it meets and then have this one meet. Let's see if that meets, yep. So that's tightened down. So we're, get, we're getting there. Oh, our protective sleeve came off, watch out. And let me see, ah, don't do like me. <laughs> don't, don't be haphazard. Take your time while you're putting the knife together or taking them apart. Take your time. I'm just kind of rushing along here because I, I'm just also giving you an example of don't be scared to take your knives apart and to clean them and give them some maintenance when they get gritty or you get some dirt in them. It's really easy to maintain them. Here's our pocket clip. And this is also gonna be the green or the T6. So this is a complete kit. It not only has the lube, it has all the things that you need. It has a T6, it has a T8. Let's see if that's gonna screw down. Now that is surprising. I'm wondering why that, let's see, those screws should, go all the way down in there. So maybe I put the wrong ones in there. So let me see. All right, so that's gonna be one drawback that I'm finding right now. That's a change maybe that Jen could use. Let me back out here just a little bit, but let's see how it works. Okay, I need to tighten it up. So I'm gonna tighten up my pivot, all, tighten it all the way down. Let's see how it feels. And when I do this, by the way, on my videos, I always have my fingers clear of the cutting path in case I don't have it tightened down. So that is very nice. Let's see what our lockup is. It has good lockup. And 
The blade is pretty well centered, not too bad. That is a good looking knife. Now this has the blue titanium coating. The other one um, looks like the other one is satin. I'm gonna leave it in here because we're gonna give this away on the live stream. This is a satin blade. So you can choose between the satin or the blue titanium coating, which is very nice, very, very nice. And let's see how she works. Doesn't have the strongest detent in the world, but let me get the rest of the screws all tightened down before I forget. Always check and make sure everybody's tightened down. See that one right there was loose. And let's get this one tightened down, get this one tightened down, make sure everybody's tightened down. And I think this is a great knife to learn how to work on your knife. So let me go ahead and back out here, get on the big screen. All right, so coming back out here, let's see how she, let's see how she feels. In the hand, the ergos feel good. It has decent jimping up here and I'm feeling movement. So this is what I have. Left and right, I need, I need to tighten it up just a little bit. Let's tighten it up. And so what am I noticing? I'm getting movement up and down. So what that tells me is that I need to adjust it. I need to tweak it a little bit. So what I would need to do here in this case is take it, take it back apart and this right here, the liner, I need to slightly bend it that direction right there. So let me see if I'm pushing this way, that took care of it. So that means that's when you make an adjustment to a knife. So this is a perfect example of it making an adjustment. So I would take this apart, take this side off and this liner right here, just slightly one, two, three, just three little slight bends, then put the scale back on and then see if this goes away because I'm getting movement. That's not necessarily a bad thing because I can see by pushing it over a little bit further, it goes absolutely solid. So this is gonna be a perfect example of, of cleaning a knife or maybe adjusting it, or that's what they call tuning a knife. You'll just get bend this over just a little bit and then it's absolutely solid. So besides the fact that, that it needs tuned a little bit, for 29 bucks, I think it's a pretty cool kit. And if you do put yours together and you do get some movement like this, I'm getting like a three out of 10, a little bit of movement up and down, then all you have to do is just give that a little, weren't, 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 just a little bit bend, put it back together, and then you'll see that it's gonna be tight. And you're not gonna have, see right there, I got a good lockup and it might just be a matter of getting broke in. It doesn't have the strongest detent in the world, but just for the whole thing, for what you get, I think it's pretty neat. And you might want to get Loctite to put on there, but I do have a disassembly playlist you can check out. And it does give you a little more insight into cleaning your knives and taking care of them. But that is something to note is that I don't have good lockup right out of the box on this unless I'm pushing over on the lock bar. So that's something to take into account. If you're new into knives, and you put this together and that's what you discovered. Do what I told you earlier, take it apart and you'll want to bend this scale that direction just a little bit more to give it more of a lockup. But in general, that is how you take apart any knife. This one just happens to come already disassembled and some assembly required. I think that's a fun thing. So let me know what you think about the Gin pocket knife. It's called the Gin Captain and they run like 29 bucks, 29, 30 bucks. This is what it looks like disassembled, and this is what it looks like assembled. Very cool, and we'll talk about this on the live stream, and maybe if you wanna come on Friday nights, Bees Blades live at the hive. Oh, right, I'll show you how to adjust or tune a knife that does have a little bit of wobble like that. That might be a lot of fun, and it's very quick, it's very easy to do, there's nothing to it. So tell me what you think about the new Gen Captain, and give me a big thumbs up, and go watch this video, you might really enjoy that. And until I see you again in the lives, or the chats, or the hive stream, remember, Live life in the present, keep a Band-Aid handy, and don't cut yourself.